Hi, it's June. This month we're looking at overcalls and this week I'm covering probably the most exciting overcalls of all and that is when you overcall and you've got two suits. Well, when two sides are in the auction, it's great for us to be able to use our opponent's bid for our own purposes. And that's what we do when we want to show a two-suited overcall. These are called Michael's Q-Bids and they show at least five cards in each of our suits. And we could even have a pretty weekend, eight plus points or right up to 19 and still do a Michael's Q-Bid. The idea is that whatever the opponents open, let's say it's a minor, one diamond or one club, if the next hand bids their suit, we're showing both majors, at least 5-5. Five, five. And the reason it's such an advantage to be able to show two suits in one bid is that if we're weak and we bid one of our suits, by the time it gets back to us in the bidding, the bidding will be too high for us to legitimately be able to show the second suit. So a Michael's Q-Bid takes the opponent's bid and uses it for our own description of our hand. So if the opponents open a minor and we bid their minor, we're showing both majors, at least 5-5. Five, five. It doesn't work well if you're 5-4 because partner will get a wrong description of your hand. And if the opponent opens a major and we bid that major, we're showing the other major and an unknown minor. There are ways to discover too, for your partner, which minor we've got and which minor suit you'd like to play in. That's the hand I've given for you today. So have a look at it. The bidding looks a bit strange, but it does all make sense in the long run. I'm starting Zoom lessons, and this month it's all about declarer play. How to find extra tricks, what techniques to use in suits and no trumps, and how to keep communication with your dummy. And next month it's all about defence. So I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really good week, everyone. This bidding looks rather unusual. One spade, two spades, four spades. So what partner's doing is showing a Michael's Q bid. They'll have hearts and a minor. We don't know which minor, but they should be at least five, five with hearts and a minor suit. And East has gone straight to four spades. We've got no worries about playing in partner's minor because we can cope with either minor. But the bid that we'd make to find out which minor partner holds is four no trumps. That is not the Blackwood Convention. Over Michael's, it is simply asking partner to say which minor did they bid with. And it's clubs, so we're very happy to play five clubs. So in terms of losers, we'll have only one spade loser because we can trump the next spade. And now they're playing trumps, which is okay, but we've got so many trumps, we don't care. And we could play the jack just to get rid of the last trump, then take the heart finesse. That, that worked, so now we'll play ace of hearts, trump a heart, and cross over, lose a diamond, and trump a spade, and trump a diamond, and trump a heart, and trump a diamond, play our last club, and the Ten of Hearts is a winner. So we actually made five clubs. The opponents would have done quite well in four spades as well, losing one club, two hearts, and one diamond, 
they would have gone down, but we actually made five clubs.